Welcome to another edition of Dan Frequently Asked Questions. In this edition, we'll be dealing with free diving and exercise. Keep watching. We got a question from a diver who asked, how long after doing free diving can they do weight training? And the reason for asking was that they had done free diving the day before to about 12 meters without even thinking about this. And when doing weight training, they were wondering whether or not this could cause either some sort of complication or even decompression illness. All right, well, that's an interesting question. Remember, of course, that free diving does not involve nitrogen or inert gas uptake, like compressed gas diving would, unless you do extremes of diving in excess of 30 meters for hours on end. Your free diving was only to about 12 meters, so the amount of nitrogen that you would absorb would be trivial. Exercise, therefore, should have no bearing on any risk related to decompression illness. And quite frankly, I wouldn't be concerned at all. I hope that that's answered your question and clarified the difference between free diving and compressed gas diving. It is true that with compressed gas diving, we recommend that people should ideally wait a minimum of four hours before and four hours after diving before doing any kind of exercise. And that includes getting rid of your heavy dive gear or carrying it up ladders or even hanging up the gear to dry. Rather get assistance from other people. What better excuse than to get help uh, than run the risk of developing decompression illness after all. Might as well use it to your advantage. <laughs> Until next time, safe diving. <laughs>